Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I post videos all about homemaking, motherhood, and marriage. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a home decor thrift haul from the last several months. I have been thrifting several times in the last several months, so I've got a few cute things that I wanted to show you, so I'm gonna show you that today. So the first thing I wanna show you is probably my favorite thing here and it's from my birthday thrifting trip. My mom took me thrifting and antiquing for my birthday and I found these adorable duck measuring cups. They are so cute. It has a cup, a half a cup, a third a cup, and a fourth a cup. And they're just so cute. I love the way they fit together. They look so cute on my countertops. They match my countertops. And I think I only paid about $10 for this set. They had another set, but the eyes were faded and so they were a little bit cheaper. But these are just too precious and I love them so much. <laughs> hear a noise I've got Reese down here she's I got the hiccups so she's kind of fussy right now so hopefully she doesn't cry during this video the next thing is from a very recent thrifting trip um, the next several things are from a very recent thrifting trip first I have this adorable this adorable strawberry canister or crock I don't know if it's a crock or a canister but it's small so I'm gonna call it a canister um, I don't know what I'm gonna put in it but it just says Japan on the bottom, so I don't know where it came from, but it's just so cute. And I have a thing for the strawberry, the vintage strawberry dishes. I have several things with strawberries on it. My teapot has strawberries on it. You guys have seen that. Um, and I just thought this was just the cutest thing to sit on the counter. I'll probably eventually put sugar in it or something, because that might be what it is. It might be a sugar bowl, but I think it is so sweet. Something that I have started collecting recently is pretty teacups, teacups and saucers, things like that. My mom actually bought me a matching tea set for my birthday. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know if I've showed it on YouTube or not. I'll probably show it in a future video. Um, I have it linked in my Amazon storefront if you want to see it. That is always down in my description box. Um, but it's beautiful. But I'm also searching for teacups and saucers or teacups without saucers that are just really pretty and really vintage and really old to display in my corner hutch in my kitchen. And so when I went thrifting the other day I found this teacup let's see if I can get it to focus I found this one and it's got little flowers on the inside it says Theodore Dwaland New York the pattern is apple blossom and I just think it's so pretty and so dainty there was no saucer with this one but I really like it just as it is to display in my hutch the next thing is a book and this is honestly the most beautiful book I have ever found in a thrift store. It's a very old book. It's Marigold Garden by Kate Greenway and it is illustrations and rhymes. So it has all of these beautiful pictures, all of these beautiful pictures and illustrations and each one has a different rhyme or poem or little story or sonnet um, it is absolutely beautiful and this book was actually discarded from a library in Dobson North Carolina and then it was discarded from a library in another county in North Carolina which I'm not gonna share because it's too close to where I live but it was discarded from two different libraries and it ended up in the thrift store and I think I paid $1.95 for this book which is a really good price because in the thrift store that I go to usually old books go for a lot more than that so I was really really happy with this find I think it's so precious so the next thing is something that I found for my kitchen and it is this little wooden I don't know what you'd call it it's just a wall plaque I think it says at the top Niagara Falls New York so obviously it must have been a souvenir from Niagara Falls maybe but it says my kitchen prayer and then it just has a little poem here and it says bless my little kitchen Lord I love its every nook and bless me as I do my work wash pots and pans and cook may the meals that I prepare be seasoned from above with thy blessing and thy grace but most of all thy love as we partake of earthly food, the table thou hast spread, will not forget to thank thee, Lord, for all our daily bread. So bless my little kitchen, Lord, and those who enter in. May they find naught but joy and peace and happiness therein. Amen. And I just think it is so sweet. I love 
little wooden things like this because it reminds me of my grandma. It reminds me of little things that she had in her house. And then it just reminds me of like an older lady's house in general. And I'm like, mental age is like 65 or 70 anyway. So <laughs> in my heart, I'm a little old lady. So I just loved this. The next thing is this little candlestick holder, and I actually bought this to sell in my shop, but I ended up liking it so much that I decided to keep it. Um, the candle actually was thrifted as well a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, but last year. I thrifted a whole box of these old looking <coughs> candles, bless you. <laughs> these old looking candles, they were from Williamsburg, Virginia, from like, I guess, Colonial Williamsburg. And I thrifted a whole box of them. Um, and I think the whole box was like two bucks or something crazy. And so I thought it would look cute in this little candle holder. I don't know what this is called. There, I'm sure there's a name for it because I see a lot of stuff with like this sponge pattern and the hearts on it. But I don't know what it's called. But I just thought it was really, really sweet. I feel like every homemaker has a lot of candlesticks in their house. I have so many just in this room alone i have a candelabra over there i have this one that i just showed you that stays in here there's another one over there there's a candelabra over there and i feel like i used to have another one in here too and i moved it to the kitchen i feel like that's just a trend in homemakers houses this next thing i was super excited to find um it is a like a mock it's not mock it's like a fake canvas painting it's supposed to look like a painting but it's not but i love this I love the colors and interestingly enough this picture that you see back here I thrifted I think back in December or November and it's this big print I can't remember the name of it the name of it is on there I'll insert a clip but the colors in these look very similar and they're both the same thing they're both um, made to look like a canvas painting but they're not actually a painting it's a print um, but I just think it's interesting how close the colors are in this as that it's so similar to that one almost like they match but this one i actually have hung in the kitchen on my beadboard backsplash and i really like the way it looks in there last but not least i have something that i thrifted for the bathroom and i don't think i've talked about this i may have talked about this on here but i'm actually going to be refreshing the bathroom this year i want to paint the bathroom a very 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 pale blue color um, I'm going to paint the shelf in there white. I'm gonna get a white fluffy frilly shower curtain. I want it to look very shabby chic, sort of vintage, very feminine. It's our one bathroom, so I'm just gonna go crazy with the feminine touches in there. Um, but I thrifted this amazing little print here and I have been looking all over for a cute print for the bathroom and haven't been able to find anything and I found this and it was perfect and the frame was originally this dark color and I painted the frame so this is what it is I know it's probably it might be backwards in my camera I'm not sure but it says bath five cent and then at the bottom it says soap extra but the colors are just so gorgeous I just love the blues will tie in well with the wall. And then of course I painted the frame. This is a darker blue than what the walls will actually be. But all the colors are just so vibrant and so pretty. And I don't know, I don't think it's vintage because it says Kmart on the back of it. It's not vintage, but it looks vintage, which will go perfect with the theme of my bathroom. And I know exactly where this is gonna go. This is gonna hang on the little section of wall between the shower and the window. It's long and narrow, it's gonna work perfect. I just, I absolutely love this. I'm telling you, I have been looking everywhere for a print for the bathroom, something that had glass in it so that it didn't bubble with the sweat of the shower. So I'm so happy with that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit short. I had another thing I was gonna show you guys, but it's in Kate's room and Kate is taking a nap right now, so I can't go get it. But it was a vintage toy that I put in his Easter basket, but I can't go get that right now to show you guys. But I hope you enjoyed seeing a few things that I have thrifted over the last few months. Um, I wanna do more thrift hauls this year. I love thrifting, you guys know that. I've been thrifting since I was a kid, I love it. And I especially love thrifting home decor because I feel like Number one, if you thrift home decor, your house will look different from everybody else. If you buy everything 
for your house in Hobby Lobby, there's gonna be a bunch of different, a bunch of people with the same stuff in their house. I feel like if you thrift and you curate special pieces that you love, then your house is gonna look unique. And also, it's a lot cheaper than buying things brand new to thrift your home decor. And it's fun, it's like a treasure hunt, I love it. So I hope that you enjoyed this thrift haul. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoy videos like this. Make sure that you subscribe if you're not already so you can be notified when I post future content. And also, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I always leave all of my social media handles in the description box below. And I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.